I'm going to talk now about an exercise I use to try and help people uh, relax or be into a state of total relaxation because the body does not have the ability to hold on to a strong emotion if it is put into a state of total relaxation. And so if we look at the, what does that mean? What does it mean when we have a strong response uh, to someone yelling and screaming at us? Well, we're, we're tense or intense and we feel that. But if we are relaxed, it often means we don't have that. So it means if we recognize that we're being controlled by an uncomfortable emotion or an urge to act in a way that we would prefer not to, then we can actually command our body to relax as though it were what I would call a wet noodle. So let's pretend you're an actor for a moment and I ask you to play the part of a wet noodle. It means literally letting go of any tightness and allowing the body to just be without any tension and to fall into whatever position it may take on its own. This could be seen as a form of relaxed mindfulness. So, so just sitting as relaxed as is possible, dropping and flopping all of your arms, et cetera. Now, recently I was a guest on a podcast by Shangri-La Rendon of Feisty Fox Coaching. She is a two-time Guinness Book of World Records achiever as an ultra endurance athlete. She posed me questions on the subject of getting into the flow state for performance. If you are interested, the link to this video podcast has been provided with this course. But I hope you will consider uh, doing what I've just recommended because when we are in a state of relaxation, of course, it's a lot easier to come up with possibilities, with options, with solutions, or possibly resolutions to whatever may be going on because we're in a calm state of mind, not in a state of flux.